Winning NBA intel and a free pick in Major League Baseball from your grandmaster, Joe Duffy of OffshoreInsiders.com. Of course, this is brought to you by MyBookie.ag. Please use the promo code Duffy, D-U-F-F-Y. You get a 50% sign-up bonus and you'll get paid on time, 100% of the time. You'll also show your support for this podcast. OffshoreInsiders.com, uh, one of the greatest runs in sports handicapping history since August the 27th, my youngest son's birthday. It all started. Both NBA sides, led by a wise guy, play for tonight. Yeah, the last two days haven't been quite as automatic in the uh, basketball playoffs, in the NBA playoffs, in the college basketball postseason, what a postseason it was there, etc. But that's okay. You know we'll bounce back from our very, very, very short-term mini slump. We got NHL tonight, too. Of course, we did hit our only Major League Baseball play yesterday. We've been more selective for a lot of reasons this year than in previous years. We did hit our only baseball play yesterday, cashing in with Washington on the run line where we got back a teeny weeny weeny bit of juice. But anyway, the entire portfolio tonight is at offshoreinsiders.com. And let's take a look, first of all, at some key trends for tonight. Some ATS trends from your grandmaster. And again, as I said, brought to you by mybookie.ag. All records are against the spread unless I very much specify over-unders, which I will. Cleveland and Toronto. Cleveland is 2-7 and seven overall. They're 0-4 when their opponent allowed 100 points or more their previous game. Toronto, 2-7 and seven playing on one day's rest, but conversely, 7-1 and one at home against teams with a winning road record. Cleveland is 6-1 and one in the series. They are 5-1 in Toronto. From an over-under standpoint, Cleveland has gone over 8-3 to the Atlantic. Toronto has gone over 13-6 to the Central Division. The other game tonight, Philadelphia and Boston. Sixers are 6-1-1 six, one, one, following a straight-up loss. 6-2 on the road, 21-7 on two days rest. Holy crap, 65-31 when their opponent scored 100 points or more their previous game. Boston, 10-1 and one at home, 21-7 and seven following a straight-up win of double digits, 48-22 after scoring 100 points or more in their last game. The underdog has covered 7 of 9 in the series. Boston, in fact, has covered 4 of 5. Over under. Philadelphia has gone under 13-6 and six on the road against teams with a winning home record. Boston has gone under 7-3 and three on Thursdays, but over... 10 and 2 overall. How about your free winning pick going against teams off of a win is plus 219.25 units. We've been pretty honest. The last two years it hasn't been all that great, although, you know, short term, kind of kind of the opposite of uh us, where it's just been phenomenal for us long term, very uh recently so so. Well, this is still a system that wins in the history of our database big time. And to go over 200 units is pretty impressive. As I said, the last two years, not quite as much, but but very short term. It's when a nice little winning streak, your free winning pick is to go with Texas and Minor, plus the 142 against Boston and Price. Once again, Texas and Minor, that free pick from me, Joe Duffy, CEO of OffshoreInsiders.com. If you do like these broadcasts, please literally, literally do give us a like. Uh, click on the like and you know, feel free to comment, share, embed on your website, retweet. Any help you can give us is much appreciated at OffshoreInsiders.com. Ooh, a fondue set. Ugh, now I need to find a coupon code. Not anymore, Susan. Capital One Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. Wait, instantly? It's called shopping smart, not hard. Download Capital One Shopping to your computer for free and let it do the work for you. Don't mind if I fondue. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of cheesy. Capital One Shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? Savings and available coupons vary. 